initiatives in higher education in the state of Tennessee, and we're talking to the uh, Chancellor of the uh, Tennessee Board of Regents, uh, Dr. Charles Manning. And of course, Dr. Manning, during this last segment, let's give you an opportunity to uh, sort of bring us up in reference to some of the financial things uh, dealing with uh, higher education in, the, in Tennessee, because I think the first time that you came to us, uh, there was no lottery, and uh, I think that was one of the major uh, issues that we talked about. How do That's you true. finance education, higher education? And now we have a lot. Talk about it from that perspective. Well, the lottery's been in uh, a, a number of years now, and I'm, I'm sure many in the audience mm -hmm. have been able to take advantage mm -hmm. of it. As we were chatting, um, it, you know, it is more oriented mm -hmm. towards a student who is coming straight from um, high school. Mm -hmm. um, you know, very you know, couple of different programs. You get a little bit more money mm -hmm. if you're scoring higher on ACT tests and, and grade mm -hmm. points, and you can still get in with something that is mm -hmm. that is less than a mm -hmm. uh, a three point zero and take advantage of it. But mm -hmm. right now, uh, you have to have a B average in college to mm -hmm. maintain it. And uh, a couple pieces of uh, advice, I guess I'd I'd pass on. Mm -hmm. One is, uh, um, you know, it's. Uh, uh, you know, some, sometimes it's, uh, I guess, it, it's harder when you get into college mm -hmm. to maintain that B than it was in high school. Good. And, okay. and mm -hmm. uh, you gotta get, you gotta get on mm -hmm. it right away. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, and and keep working at it. Mm -hmm. The other is that to be a full-time student, you have to take 12 hours. Mm -hmm. To be on the lottery, you have to take 12 hours. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you take just 12, that's mm -hmm. all you sign up for. Mm -hmm. Uh, you start to get in trouble with one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You have nothing mm -hmm. to fall back on, mm -hmm. and uh, you're, you're probably better off if you, uh, mm -hmm. if you if you take more than that. Mm -hmm. That would uh, allow you to drop a course, yeah. for mm -hmm. example, and mm -hmm. still be enrolled. Okay. At, uh, it allows you to you know work on other courses, maybe have the higher grade, mm -hmm. get something. Don't going. stand too close to the edge yeah. in, in, in <laughs> a real <laughs> sense, because you know if if, right. that's, if, if you leave. Uh, leave after uh, 11 with 11 hours, then you need 12. You're too close yeah. to the edge. Yeah. <laughs> so that's mm -hmm. uh, that's an issue and a problem. And uh, you know, one of the things we model a program, not exactly, but mm -hmm. to a great extent, after uh, what the one program that was in uh, in Georgia. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in Georgia, as has been found in Tennessee, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. about half the students that come mm -hmm. in with a scholarship lose the scholarship mm -hmm. uh, because of that that mm -hmm. average. I know that uh, the governor and the General Assembly are looking at that pretty hard, uh, uh, even though that was kind of what was planned and expected. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, uh, mm -hmm. what happens to you, you, you feel somewhat mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see, I, I know the serious consider consideration mm -hmm. on uh, you know, saying you have to maintain a, a mm -hmm. 2.75 mm -hmm. rather than a 3.0 mm -hmm. as doing mm -hmm. it. Um, for adults, it's uh, it's uh, you know not as easy. Uh, one of the things that uh, mm -hmm. um, that we're we, we have proposed and jointly with the University of Tennessee, mm -hmm. for, uh, there there are quite a number of students mm -hmm. who have gone to school mm -hmm. are within 30 hours of graduating, mm -hmm. whether that's at a bachelor's level and you're mm -hmm. you know at 90 hours or whether that's an associate degree mm -hmm. level and you've got more than 30. Mm -hmm. And that was the idea, let's take those people, let's okay. pro provide uh, a variety of different ways to access Good. them. Mm -hmm. One of them certainly would be online. Mm -hmm. And uh, give them a financial incentive to mm -hmm. finish. And uh, mm -hmm. we think we could increase the number of, mm -hmm. of people in Tennessee with baccalaureate mm -hmm. and associate degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and that would increase the number of teachers. Bit. It would also yeah. increase the number of teachers, even nurses. Well, uh -huh. a absolutely, and mm -hmm. they would uh, become eligible for you know, lots of different kinds mm -hmm. of jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the teaching would add, you'd have mm -hmm. to add uh, certification, but mm -hmm. we've got that available mm -hmm. online as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, so lots of people, they get into uh, mm -hmm. a situation where uh, mm -hmm. they've made a geographic decision, if mm -hmm. you will. Have decided uh, because they're 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 married or their job, mm -hmm. you know, and they've they've located a particular place, and there may or may not be mm -hmm. an institution of higher education mm -hmm. close by. Uh, so providing these opportunities mm -hmm. to get there and mm -hmm. and and do that. Mm -hmm. So uh, another program that uh, the governor uh, ha has in his budget mm -hmm. right now is. Um, uh, is one that's trying to be an incentive program for Good. high school students Good. to do well. Mm -hmm. and it, it, it would basically make community college virtually free in terms of tuition oh, mm -hmm. uh, if uh, you, at coming out of high school, mm -hmm. have a, a 19 on your ACT, mm -hmm. a 19 in English, and a 19 mm -hmm. in math. 
Mm-hmm. Now that's, you know, we've got you lots know, of students in Tennessee yeah. who are at that yeah, level. And, and, we and, need and to and get to that level. Maybe I shouldn't say this now uh, in a real sense, but I think that in view of the uh, new restrictions that we're putting in dealing with dress codes and, ex- and, and all of that, I think that that might be a sensible kind of thing for students to aspire for in mm-hmm. terms of uh, doing well in high school and then going into uh, uh, junior college right. or uh, the uh, second level b- virtually free and then in a real sense having an ability to take that uh, lottery money and translate that into uh, a four-year institution and perhaps even Absolutely. go on to professional school which is to say that that seems to be to be a, 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 a an excellent path yeah, toward that would encourage students along right. the line all the, all the way down because you know that if I can get this mm-hmm. degree here and I can do well in it then I can go to uh, the uh, uh, Nashville Tech or any other institution and be well grounded there and then go on to the uh, right. uh, other in four year institutions. And, and uh, I'm a perfect example mm-hmm. of this. I'd say m- most students mm-hmm. do not know where they're going to end up mm-hmm. as they start. Yes. I, w- mm-hmm. I, uh, I actually had made a, a deal with my high school chemistry mm-hmm. teacher that she'd give me a C if I, uh, mm-hmm. if I ever took chemistry <laughs> again. <laughs> I went to college <laughs> majoring in history. <laughs> I had to take biology mm-hmm. as part of the general education. Mm-hmm. I thought that was really interesting. Mm-hmm. Decided to major in biology. Mm-hmm. Had to take chemistry to major in biology. Mm-hmm. Took chemistry and found it even more interesting. Mm-hmm. Then got my, my bachelor's in chemistry and my PhD mm-hmm. in chemistry. So I lied mm-hmm. to my chemistry teacher mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in high school. And ended but, up in higher <laughs> education. <laughs> but I, uh, I changed, uh, mm-hmm. you know, what I was, I mm-hmm. was doing quite a number of mm-hmm. times. And, and that often happens. That's, uh, that's community that's college that is a good place. Your interest, to, right. That's, that's to test good. out what it is mm-hmm. you really find mm-hmm. interesting and what you're good mm-hmm. at and what you like doing. Yeah, I think that, that would be an excellent program if they could yeah. get that operated. Because I'm sure that there are a large number of folks who would do well and you know as we said if uh, since I think there's going to be a little sanity coming back to the way uh, people young people are reacting in terms yeah. of education and now and I think that we might recognize the importance of that's, that's what we're trying to do yeah, it takes mm-hmm. uh, it, as they say it takes a community to, mm-hmm. to, uh, to, to be behind that and try mm-hmm. to do it, it takes a student with the mm-hmm. uh, uh, individual commitment to do mm-hmm. it and mm-hmm. uh, uh, I, you know I, I think that 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 can come around and, mm-hmm. and many, many, many more people mm-hmm. can do mm-hmm. better in math than mm-hmm. they're doing. Good. They're mm-hmm. not going to be mm-hmm. Einstein, mm-hmm. you know, they're not going to you know, formulate uh, unique mm-hmm. and novel proofs mm-hmm. for the world in mathematics, mm-hmm. but they can know a mm-hmm. great deal more mm-hmm. than they know and, and be uh, better in doing good teacher, lots of Good teachers jobs. And, yeah. and, and doing that yeah. too. Chester, we've got about uh, two minutes before mm-hmm. the end of the show for today, and this, gives, this will give you an opportunity to uh, speak to whatever issue you wish to uh, speak to dealing with higher education and these new initiatives that we have in the state. Well, um, you know, I, I, I come back to where I started. Mm-hmm. I, I just very much believe that we need more people going on to post-secondary education. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, uh, you know, the middle third, if you, if you will, mm-hmm. um, uh, is, a, is, a, is a group we really need to, uh, mm-hmm. to get more education mm-hmm. for. Right now, uh, you know, about 60% of the students go on to higher education. Only about half of those mm-hmm. uh, get through. That represents a, mm-hmm. about a third of those who dropped out. Mm-hmm. We need to get those all the way through we do. Mm-hmm. and doing well. They need mm-hmm. to be you know, better prepared. Mm-hmm. We're working with K-12 and, and what we call P-16 or mm-hmm. pre-through school through, through mm-hmm. college programs to try to uh, build up the, uh, the, 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 their, their ability and, mm-hmm. and expectation for college. Uh, but it's the communities, the parents, mm-hmm. the people surrounding the students, mm-hmm. they have to all help mm-hmm. reinforce the mm-hmm. need to do this mm-hmm. and that you can do it. Very you good. You can mm-hmm. do it. Mm-hmm. Very good. And of course, during this last minute, let me uh, simply thank you for uh, coming by and uh, Given us that information, uh, I, I certainly don't want to do an editorial, but uh, I think it is important that uh, we uh, look at higher education and to uh, see it as the governor is uh, looking at higher education, yes. and, so, and he's made uh, some tremendous advances in terms of uh, the uh, system of higher education. Now, I know when we first started uh, several uh, years ago that we were way down. As a matter of fact, I think when you came to us uh, the first time, uh, we were uh, number 49. And you see, and that was before the lottery. So we've we've had the best three years mm-hmm. in capital appropriations. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've had two, you know, this this year that's in the governor's budget mm-hmm. will be our second year of actually having operating money. Mm-hmm. Uh, we 
had a big five-year period with mm -hmm. very, very little, mm -hmm. and uh, so we're very appreciative mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. where we are. Have some to go. Mm -hmm. Have some to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but, but well, we're, of course, we're, let me we're thank you, <laughs> Chester, for bringing that excellent information. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you, and good night.